UFO sightings may be the stuff of films and TV shows, but they keep turning up and causing controversy. This was filmed in Shropshire in February. The object was seen apparently hovering above Shrewsbury for some time. Harriet Rogers filmed this footage with her father. You definitely think it was a UFO? Yes. It's come back. It has definitely come back in the same place literally every starry night. As the sightings continue, the latest of Britain's X-Files are being released. These cover UFO reports between 1987 and 1993, around 1,200 separate sightings. One of the most intriguing relates to this photo taken from an RAF Harrier jet near Pitlochry in Scotland. The object was said to have hovered next to the jet. Other witnesses saw it hanging in the air for 10 minutes before heading off at high speed straight up. Unusually, the decision was taken to brief ministers about this incident, just in case. What is clear, though, from these files is that those compiling them were far more interested about any secret Soviet or American spy planes. They're full of clippings from magazines and newspapers like this. This is a supposedly hypersonic American plane codenamed Aurora. And they carried on collecting files like this, even though the Americans had actually denied to them that this even existed. Anything connected with the, with, um, the defence intelligence staff is, is shrouded in secrecy and has been for many years and it's, it's quite a victory for open government and for the Freedom of Information Act that we're getting to see these files. They don't actually tell us what the answer to the UFO mystery is but they add uh, you know, lots of grist to the mill. There are also some rather bizarre reports contained in the files, including one close encounter with an alien near Norwich. It apparently spoke with a Scandinavian-type accent. In London in 1993, a spate of UFO sightings was eventually explained by an illuminated airship advertising a new car. Eventually, all of Britain's UFO files will be declassified and available to the public. Seemingly, they contain lots of interesting information, but not nearly enough to prove any conspiracy theories, unless, of course, they're holding something back about encounters like this. Darren Little, Sky News, Shropshire.